guys and gals, it's not always rainbows and butterflies when we talk about our machining processes. And my buddy Nick has a story to tell when we talk about machine monitoring, right? They're now utilizing datanomics, which really has helped them improve on their processes. But we have to start at the beginning where Nick darn near gave up on the previous machine monitoring system. Nick, let's talk about this, shall we? Yeah, let's go for it. So, started with a certain particular software brand and uh, had it installed, and I thought it was cool at first, but very shortly into it, I noticed that you had to enter a lot of data and information to even get what the little data I was looking for. So long story short, I kind of gave up on it really quick, and I don't even think my boss knows that. <laughs> well, you are the guy here at Arch Seabrook that programs all of these machines were standing around, so time is probably important to you. Yeah. And isn't the main point of machine monitoring to save time? To save time and to get data quick and easy. And that was a struggle from what was going on previously, and you got frustrated with it, right? You, you more or less gave up on it. Yeah, yep, gave up, and, uh, and then Datanomics came in and more or less saved the day. <laughs> well, well they, Datanomics, my buddies Greg and John love to save the days. <laughs> so you saying that on camera, they're happy to hear it. So what's Datanomics been like for you now? Are you doing okay now? Are you saving the time that you're looking based on all the machines you have to program? Yeah, so, I mean, when they came in and they, they demoed or we demoed their software, um, it was like a day transition and they got a couple machines hooked up for us and uh, we had data at the end of the day enough to look at and go, wow, this is exactly what we kind of were looking for. Did you jump on board right away when you saw the difference between what I, was happening previously? Personally, and, I did, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but we had to sell it to people higher up on us, obviously, so. And sometimes that's an act of Congress, as we've heard before, but you were able to implement it, and now you are currently running Datanomics on some of your most important machines here, Correct. I believe four or five in this facility, Correct. and some of the ones yep. uh, in your other facility yep. here in, in Seabrook as well, right? Yep. and we're hooking up more. I think at the end of the month we'll have actually almost every machine in this building hooked up. So by the next time I come back to see you and hear more success stories, all these machines will be connected. Yep. Well, guys, there you have it. I mean, we like to share the success stories. We like to share the positive side of things, but it's not always positive. We have to sometimes go through frustrating situations, as my buddy Nick here has described. And good thing he didn't totally quit and gave another machine monitoring system an opportunity because now there's a lot of success and a lot of joy in what I see going on here. And it's not just about theory anymore. They know exactly what they're going to do when they're quoting, when they're looking at parts. When they get their coffee in the morning, they're going to have the reports ready to go. As Nick mentioned, by day one, they were already getting numbers. So imagine what it's like now. So Nick, thank you so much for sharing this with the global audience at MTD. You, my friend, are amazing. Yeah, thank you. And we wish you continued success. Thank you.